hello everyone so today we are going to check uh, replication uh, with the hitbox attack system and also we did a lot of features uh, recently but we didn't check uh, what happened with the replication now here as you can see we can see some snapping of characters and animations especially and also I'm not sure if my character can do any damage yeah see even though I see the impact, I don't see a reaction on the enemy. So these are the issues that I want to address today. So I'm going to restore replication with the hitbox based attack system and, and other things, other issues when we test the game in multiplayer. And before we get started, let me remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects from the patron page and once you become a member you can download not just this one you can download all thousands of projects i have done from the patron page and this is a part of this section rpg with gameplay ability system series so uh, you can watch all these episodes i leave the link to full playlist also in the description right now let's get back here okay so the first issue i want to resolve is why the enemies why can't i do any damage so to make things easier let me switch to client mode and play only with one character in the viewport so that will make easier for me to test now here see they are not receiving any damages and also we need to fix the stuttering issue as well so first let's look into how why they are not taking damage so for that first let me open the sword and here i actually know the reason because we had the same reason when we were using uh, the ability attack ability itself to activate damage ability so let me show that first ga attack sword so here we have disconnected here because this part earlier we were using here this part in order to uh, do activate damage abilities by sending this gameplay events now now that I am doing in the uh, sword itself based on the collision so here you can see I have used this send gameplay event replicated event and that is implemented in the main ability basically we are calling this we call send gameplay event replicated on uh, using the character to this using this function uh, if i show the implementation of this you can see that in the base character here yeah, this so it's a simple rpc or remote procedure call now i'm going to use the same thing in the sword so here where do i send the event yeah here so instead of this I'm gonna use send gameplay event replicated and we let's call this on get player character let's call this using the get player character because when I just use get attached parent it does not replicate properly for NPCs so i'm going to use the player character and it doesn't matter actually even if i use the player character this will be actually applying send in the event to whoever the target that we are hitting so the target is target actor is hit actor and the tag is this and the payload is this no Let 
let me get rid of this oh wait what did I have before right here now this change should restore should allow me to do damage again wait what's the error oh instance per execution is not supported by replication okay now let's see yeah now I can do damage see I do reaction I see reaction as well and let me see if they can damage me yeah they can okay cool so the next step is the animation starting actually the reason for that is also I know so here this I call this slowdown event here through this slowdown gameplay event but I realized that when I trigger it that way in order to replicate that change it take a bit of time and because of that because as I understand this uh, ability is executed in the server and when we get that change into the client the client has already passed that point of the animation so that's why it kind of a stutter so let me remove it from here and then let's go back to our animation blueprint now let's go back to our attacks and instead of this trigger event let's use the uh, good old notify and slow down should I call it just slow down okay right now if I go to the uh, Oh wait, let's add that trigger to all of the animations as well. Where is the... Here. Where is that? slow down okay slow down slow down slow down okay all right and yeah let's go back to animation blueprint here mm. slow down so here i can simply get the character like this i already have it and 
called slow down with these default variables because those are the values I had used when I call this event from the ability as well right now let's see yeah I don't see that much of a stuttering like before considering we are in a multiplayer environment okay I think uh, wait let's test with two instances as well just to make sure everything is working all right yeah as you can see Everything is properly replicated. All right, so I think we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available here for download. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.